This short video introduces S to T, the Salesforce to Trim integration. HP Trim is a record management system and the gold standard in many Australian government departments. Built by Tower Software in 1998, it was acquired by HP in 2008. At that time it had 1,000 customers in 32 countries. s to t is a native Salesforce application that connects to Trim. s to t was largely specified by Salesforce and pushes attachment and chatter documents to Trim. It does this by button click rather than scheduled task, as is common among some of our other products. It includes update and delete functionality and is configurable to multiple Trim instances. S to T pushes information from Salesforce to Trim only. We have other products that are bi-directional. Here we're seeing various documents from Salesforce. They can be attachments or chatter documents being pushed to records in Trim. The T per S connector is like the big brother of S to T. It can not only push documents from Salesforce to Trim, it can also pull them from Trim back into Salesforce. It includes scheduled pushes to Trim for bulk transfer and exchanges documents with Trim via an intermediate server. This gives us the opportunity to export the data from that server to other sources. In this case, the data is living in a SQL Server database and can be accessed using remote web services. Essentially, this means that your Salesforce data can be exposed via SQL Server through a web service to external sources. Let's look at S to T within Salesforce. Note here there are two additional tabs. The Trim tab contains the information we need to connect to Trim. We can have a number of Trim servers, in this case just one. The details of the connection are shown within the link. We can see here our remote Trim web service location and the default container within Trim into which we want to push our documents. Of course we can change this container on the fly, but this is just the default container. We can also set our login credentials from this screen. Looking at the other tab, this shows all the documents that are currently associated with Trim from this Salesforce instance. We can see down in this status column, a number of these documents are synchronized with Trim. This particular document has not yet been synchronized with Trim. Selecting the sync action will do this. We can also set our login credentials from this place. A useful feature on this page is the ability to filter the documents by this drop-down list. Now let's look in the Opportunities tab to see what changes have been made here. Pick an opportunity and we can see this opportunity has a Trim Documents button. Clicking on the Trim Documents button opens a list of documents associated with this object in Trim. Click on a particular Trim name and view the details in Trim of where this document resides. You can see it lives in container 1357, has a record number of D1237, and the actual document itself is here. We can replace this document by browsing and selecting a new document and then uploading the document. saving it. Now we're in container test 2. So you'll notice here container test 2 has a new document but it's not yet synced with, with Trim. We can now sync with Trim. It's now processing the document. The document is now synchronized. If we want to add an entirely new Trim file we have a button for that. It will also be added as an attachment to the opportunity object. and upload it. Once it's been uploaded, it automatically gets named. It's not yet in Trim. We need to save it. And here it is, Travel 1, not yet synced to Trim. We manually sync it. And we can refresh the page to monitor the progress. And you can see that it's been synchronized with Trim. Now let's go and look in Trim to see how all this appears. What I've done here is open the record container 
1357 where we sent these documents to. I'll just refresh that. Look at the date created. And we can see our travel one document is here in trim. And we can see our modified document is also here. I hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough. To learn more about Trim and our other products, go to our website at fuseit.com.